So I had this old Norway maple stump sitting here. Couldn't move it with the skid steer. Patty Bone should be able to pick it up though. Maybe we can drag it out or something with the tractor or something. I don't know. Man, that thing's heavy. It's all that dirt that's still in there. If we got that out, it'd be okay. Today's January the 9th. The builders were working again today. I was not doing anything too exciting. Feeding cows right now. Beautiful weather though. Second floor is all done and they're working on the porch. Garage trusses. And they're going to get the trusses on the roof tomorrow. These garage doors were gonna be nine foot wide, seven feet tall. We're talking today, we're gonna actually change them. They're gonna raise them up a foot, so they'll be nine wide by eight tall. We have plenty of ceiling height in here, might as well take advantage. We're getting the trusses set on today. They had to get a crane for the ones on top there. Today we're gonna get the corn planter out of the shed. Dad already got some stuff out of the way, hooked up to it. We're gonna bring it into the shop. There's a decent amount of parts that need to be replaced this winter. Some of you probably remember two winters ago when we put this in the shop, we had to pull the marker arms off. Our shop's wide enough, but the door is only 16 foot wide. And six row planters, 15 foot, but those markers stick out more than that. So it's just too big to get in there with the markers on. Just got these four bolts to take out and this little bracket. We have to undo the hydraulic lines there. It's not too big a deal. You want me to catch it or you got it? I don't think it's that heavy. wanted to show I left all those bolts right there so I don't forget about it. So if I wanted to do a big project for not much benefit, sometimes we could put a 20 foot door in this shop. Probably never gonna happen. My uncle's in here working on a project. seed boxes so we can see stuff a little better. We need to remove all these units so that we can get the holes in these brackets bored out and get new bushings put in them. So we're just getting the chains off of here and springs. Now we're detaching this fertilizer line and the wire to the seed sensor. Then we'll be ready to take these bolts out. We didn't get too far with this corn planter today. We got everything detached except the main bolts holding the units in place. 
these things are really heavy so i think we might have to get a tractor in here and drop the planter down so they're against the ground and that way we can unbolt them and kind of push them back there's a local place that works on planters he was giving me some advice on what we need to do with this thing this winter and we're going to send these brackets to him there's a u-shaped bracket on the bottom and then these two single pieces these holes start to wear get oblong and then there's extra play so they need to be re-drilled out get a bigger bushing in there and then it's gonna get some fine thread bolts that'll stay tight better we want to figure out something with the fertilizer this thing's set up for two by two we haven't been using that the last couple years because they needed a rebuilt and i guess i wasn't quite sold on it that it was worth doing but we kind of want to get back into that for a couple different reasons so either we have to rebuild these front units or do something different there's a couple different options on how you can put fertilizer beside the row just want to get this planter working a little bit better so that we can have a little more consistent planting i think we could improve that way trying to get our corn yields up a little bit and i just got something in the mail that I wanted to show to you There it is, look at that thing. I bought this laptop here over three years ago to do video editing. Worked pretty well for me, but uh, it's getting a little bit laggy when I'm editing sometimes. I was wanting to get a computer that's a little faster. Something with a little bit more processing power. So I was doing some research and I uh, decided to get this. This one had 12 gigs of RAM, this one has 32, so that should be a pretty big difference. It's actually designed for gaming. I don't get into computer gaming, but uh, it's got the fast processor and whatever computer people know a lot more than me but it should do a nice job for video editing hey guys so a couple days have passed here i didn't get my computer set up yet i was waiting on the monitor i have that now i have to get that set up today not much happening on the farm yesterday we were at a farm show had a good day there didn't take my camera with me kind of awkward carrying a camera around there for me they've made some good progress with the house the last couple days they finished up the framing yesterday so that was about the most exciting week of the whole process probably as far as how quickly the progress is visible pretty impressed with that framing crew come in here and get after it looks like they did a really good job to my eye the windows just showed up this morning i think they're going to be installing these this afternoon harvey windows supposed to be pretty good i think had a big picture window here it was supposed to not have the lattice in it though, so they're gonna have to switch that out. They stuck the stairs in yesterday. Got the Bilco door here on the basement. Just threw some bedding in here for these calves. And now dad's gonna dump shavings in a couple new pens for young ones. That's good. These pens are designed that we can slide plastic dividers in to separate each gate into three pens. So this one we have a divider in. And we used to run them all in individual pens. The idea is you keep them separate. That way if one gets a infection or something, it's not as easily passed to the other ones. And we had a lot of success for years keeping them separate. About a year ago, we decided to start grouping them from a young age. And that's been working out well. Megan seems to like that a little bit more. Just less dividers to mess with. When you feed them milk, you have to be a little careful that they all find their milk and one calf doesn't end up drinking more than its own share. I'm not sure we'd say the calves are doing better than before, but they're not doing worse. This is our little calf moving trailer. We got four Holsteins and then this is a half uh, Wagyu calf.
We feed whole milk to our calves. We have a pasteurizer. So any waste milk at the end of the milking that we can't sell either because uh, the cows just had her calf or also just cows with lower quality milk. We feed the whole milk to the calves then after pasteurizing it. And we bottle feed them at first and train them to drink out of a bucket. So right around eight weeks old is when we wean them and they'll eat grain then. So these older ones here are just eating the grain. This is pretty tasty stuff. I was just working here in my office getting my computer set up. And I have to get some sort of editing program on there. I'm not sure I'm going to use the same one. Yeah, it's nice to have an actual desktop. I can sit back in my chair, have the keyboard closer to me. Won't be leaning in front and straining my eyes so much, I don't think. It is now Friday morning, January the 13th. We're going to start working at this corn planter now. We need to get a tractor in here so we can drop the planter down. Right now all the weight is hanging on these. Once we take the bolts out, these will just fall down. So if we get them sitting on the ground, we can just take the bolts out and slide them back and lay them over. We're a little tight for space in the shop, but we'll put some of the rows back there and then four of them or something there. I don't know who thought it was a good idea to build this office right here in the corner of the shop, cutting down on our square footage. Yeah, they're loose now. Should be good. We got all the units off. Planter looks weird right now. So these brackets, some of these are getting worn pretty bad. These bolts stick through and there's a bushing there that's supposed to wear, but over time it can wear into this metal too. This one's probably the worst one. See how up long that hole is? So we're gonna drill these out and then they'll give us a bigger bushing and we'll use fine thread bolts that will stay tighter. Yeah, they'll do all these and these as well. We got a new bedding that we're going to be trying to deliver today. Uh, this is actually ground up drywall. I got the drywall paper in here and a little bit of the gypsum is what it is. They say it's good for bedding and it's also good for the fields. So we're going to see what we think of it. Looks 
like it sort of goes through the bedding spreader. I don't know if it would make it through the auger there, but it's working. There's a company not too far from us that they get a bunch of excess drywall from construction sites and manufacturing and they grind it up they sell a powder product but then they have this paper it still has a little bit of the gypsum powder in there we basically just have to pay the trucking there's not much cost for us stuff definitely has a different look to it usually with high quality sawdust we can bed up every other day and we were getting some lower quality stuff lately it wasn't really absorbing too well that'll be it for the video see you guys later